good day mga kabaro, this is Chip Makinisa. Let's talk about how to load test ship's emergency generator. Prior to emergency generator load test, coordinate with bridge personnel to switch off all navigational equipment under the load of emergency generator. There are two ways to carry out emergency generator load test. Number one, in the control panel of emergency generator, with engine control mode set to auto, switch periodic test for emergency generator system from normal to test. The emergency generator will automatically run and after frequency and voltage are established, the emergency generator will take all the emergency electrical loads. These are the list of ship's emergency electrical loads. The emergency generator is equipped with a device called ATS or the automatic transfer switch. Its function is for the safe transfer of load during electrical power failure, load test, and upon restoration of power. Then to remove the electrical loads from the emergency generator during load test, switch back the key from the periodic test for emergency system from test to normal. After the engine is cooled down, stop the engine by switching the engine control mode from auto to manual. Then press the stop button. Number 2. In the engine control room, locate the main breaker of the emergency switchboard. With the engine control mode of the emergency generator set to auto, switch off the main breaker of the emergency switchboard. After detection of no voltage from the emergency generator control panel, the emergency generator will automatically run and when frequency and voltage are established, the emergency generator will take all the emergency electrical loads. Those lighting fixtures that has a red dot on its screen are considered emergency lightings and will have power supply during power blackout. To remove the emergency electrical loads from the emergency generator, switch on the main breaker of the emergency switchboard. The ATS will first disconnect the power supply from the emergency generator before it will be connected to the main power source. After the engine is cooled down, stop the engine by switching the engine control mode from auto to manual, then press the stop button. And that completes the load test for emergency generator mga kabara. Until next time.